Hi, welcome back. For this episode, we're going to start talking about different canister shells or artillery shells. Um, what you see up here, I'm showing right now, is I uh, find on the internet. It's just a kind of a, a good visual to see what the effects are of the different shells. Um, some of them might, you'll find within your 60 grams, some of them you'll not. But it'll kind of give you a good visual on the what the effects would, would be without having to YouTube or look at other videos. What I'm going to be doing throughout all of these videos under the 60 gram is going to go ahead and I'm going to sort them. Now, as you can see here, this is a uh, just a little tote that I found um, at the local Walmart store. It's got you know latches on it and just going to kind of pop these open here for just a second. And of course, you know, me and my infinite wisdom, I uh, misspelled the Delisle one. So I know some of you may point that out, but uh, as you guys see, it's got a rubber gasket on the lid, perfect size to, to sort the different uh, artillery shells, or the 60 gram shells. But you can see I got crackling on this side, some miscellaneous, I could film this like a color. What I try to do is I try to do the, the basic primary um, willows. So if they have like multiple effects, I always go with the first one. You got a pistol. Yeah, let's see. Let's get this other one open. On this one, that's a, a Dahlia or Delilah. I spelled wrong, but you got brocade. Chrysanthemum. And as you can see, these are some leftover 60 gram uh, glitter and strobe that I just kind of sorted through before I start going through the this Dahlia, or Dahlia, whichever way you want to pronounce it. Um, but I kind of started sorting through just to to see how I can, you know, keep my my storage to a, a minimum. You get the rubber gasket so it keeps it, you know, keeps it the moisture out, dust out. It, of course, makes it a little bit easier to transport. And kind of look in the background, you're going to see probably about oh, 10, 15 different boxes of artillery shells. And we're going to go through each and every one of them. Um, a lot of them, you know, got again, you can pick up special deals, special prices. But it's just, you know, kind of just snap in there. So I carry two of them. Just kind of stack them like this, as opposed to having you know, 10 or 15 different boxes that's laying around. You guys see in there in the background. We'll zoom in on those here in just a second, but... So I'll kind of show you how... And then, of course, you know, whenever you're, develop, you're designing a show, you know, you can mix and match the different effects. Of course, all manufacturers are a little bit different. So if you're like me and you like to buy a lot of different manufacturers, because they all have a little bit different effects. If I want something that's like full willows, and, you know, you may get three or four, five, six, you know, different will effects from the different manufacturers, and it's going to make it a little bit more unique. But as you can tell, yeah, this is kind of the stash. You know, a whole bunch of them go through. And some of these you've probably seen through other videos, some of them you may not. But as you can kind of tell, you know, taking all that takes up a lot of room, and we consolidate it all down to the one or the two different totes. So basically take all that and put them in there. So and then of course, yeah, I'm gonna track everything on the spreadsheet as well. So then as I'm putting together my different shows for different people, then you know, I know when I take one out. And then I can, you know, um, add and replace, but it it's kinda helps me just to to maintain what kind of inventory that I have without having to go through each and every box all over again. So this is kind of a good little storage thing. And you'll see this piece throughout all the different videos. On this first one I uh, picked up, this one is a what's called King of the Canister. Uh, it's just a, a little six piece. And you know, and if you like, again, if you like me, I like to, to mix and match different manufacturers. This one's made by Kong. Um, yeah, you can pick these up. Of course, if you you know trying to get 24 of them, it's going to cost more than buying a, a you know a full box of 24. But it allows you just to get a little bit different variety because again, all the manufacturers do something that's a little bit different, whether it be color or whether it be 
you know, the effect. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go and get this opened up. I'm going to go and weigh them. And I'm using a, uh, a food scale. Uh, but I'm just going to weigh them for, just for my reference. And again, all the shells are going to be, you know, made pretty, pretty much a, maybe a little bit different. Um, but with that, you know, by weighing, we'll kind of get the idea of, you know, what the, how much these little cancer shells weigh. You know, you'll see some, quite a bit of difference as I've gone, you know, through and preloaded a couple of these videos. But let's get these out. And of course, you've got your little warning sheet on the bottom. I'm just going to take these out. I keep them a little, little organized. I can transition between. So again, and then with uh, with that, it, it comes with a, a fiberglass tube. So as you can tell, so hold on to these tubes because you're gonna start seeing some other some other videos. I'll move these up here a little bit here. Now I'll tell you some of the names on these things. I <laughs> I just kind of wish I would. Uh, being a fly on the wall and the person who lists some of these names but so we're just going to kind of compare the two this tube on this first video this is from a different uh a different product and we'll cover that one here in just a second which is as you can tell they're both basically about you know both fiberglass so they're reusable so don't throw away those tubes okay so on this first one Okay, zoom here a little bit. This one is a gold, gold willow to red with white glitter. So again, why I sort? I'm going to sort by the first effect, which is this is going to go into the willow. And let's just take a look at the weight on it. And again, this is just for comparison. It's just for fun since I have them out anyways. It looks like it weighs in 135 grams. Okay, so this next one, we got purple, oh, this is a man, purple and grass green dahlia, Delio, and blue <laughs> star with gold glitter. So grass green, I wonder how they, whose grass that they used um, to, to make the color, but it's just kind of interesting, a little more descriptive. This one weighs in at 143 grams. Okay, let's I'll move on to the next one. We have strong crackle with red plum blossom. Okay. Interesting what the blossom means, but I like that strong crackle as opposed to a weak crackle. Crackle is not one of my favorite, but and this one is going to weigh in at 138 grams. Okay, so then we've got oh, blood red and sea uh, sea blue with white glitter. Okay, blood red, not just red but blood red. Okay, so that one I'll probably have to go and put in the glitter because it does give me more in this color. Uh, weighs in about 134 grams. This is not. Okay, next one we've got red Dahlia and yellow Dahlia. So we know where this one's going to go with silver chrysanthemum. Okay. Interesting. So as I said, you can tell all these are different. So uh, this one weighs in 141 grams. So if you see so far, this is why I'm going to kind of sort them. Uh, next one we got white brocade. A uh, oh, brocade crown with grass green. Okay, grass green what? But you know, hey. So that's what I'll probably go into brocade. So again, because again, all of them will be a little bit different, which is why we're sorting them. And, and oh, 
grams. I bought my camera. And this one weighs in at about 141 grams. So now we've got all six of these uh, King of the Canister. And this guy show you, put there, get a little spreadsheet. Again, I have the kind of the same thing, so I kind of get a, a, a visual of what the effects are. And I just, and again, I just weigh them just to kind of get an average. You know, whenever I go in, I've got a sort function on my spreadsheet. That's going to allow me to, as I'm putting together shows uh, for my friends and for my family. You know, if I want to, if I have a lot of one t particular effect, I may use a little bit more of one effect over the other. Uh, Glitter is not my favorite. Crackling is not my favorite. So, um, you know, it's, it's going to allow me, again, obviously, to use the different manufacturers uh, and not just, you know, shoot off one, one particular manufacturer. Because, again, this is about designs. This is about racks and things that you can do to, to build your show at home. So, again, this is the King of the Canister by Kong. I do appreciate you watching uh, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.